I know, you want your milk. But you gotta wait a little bit. So, past two days didn't do an episode. Why did I not do an episode? The news sucks! What the heck is going on in the world? I mean, come on, give me something to report on. I mean, finally today we got some news stories, but even they're not that great. Mostly it's just David Blaine being awesome, and that's something I just wanted to cover. But to be quite honest, just news stories haven't been that frequent lately. Because it's just the same news on a repeat loop. Anymore in America, all we have is politics and COVID-19. That is what it is. Trump did this. Oh, how dare he? Hey, here we go. We have Biden stuttering again. and He's a terrible pick for a president. I mean... You got that, and then you got COVID. Woo! The death rate is still... Woo! It's still spreading like wildfire. It's, it's the same stuff every day. And I'm not going to recover the same stuff every day. I want to keep this show nice and interesting. The channel is doing pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like, the channel views might be a little bit lower, but just saying, people are subscribing. So if you're a brand new subscriber, welcome to the Board of Nations. It's nice to have you on board. And also, now that you're aboard, just so you know, there are no emergency exits, and pretty much we're just going to go for a hell of a ride. But yeah, I want to continue doing fun, interesting, cool, cool content. I don't want to have the boring days. So if you would like me to go ahead and just continue doing some boring stuff, by all means, I will go ahead and pump out crap for you. But I think you guys prefer the quality over the quantity. So without further ado, though, let's get to a nice quality episode of the Fat and Happy Show, everybody. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome back, everybody, to the Fat and Happy Show. Come on in, take off your pants and have yourself a bowl of cereal. Where we gotta go ahead and give the baby his milk. Cause it's been like two days. You've been over 48 hours with some milk and I know that is not making you happy. Because you need your milk. He's a growing boy. He doesn't need to get much fatter. Like seriously, other cat Autumn, I could pick up with one arm. This one, he's a two-hander. Like he's thick. But with him dealt with, let's go ahead and get into the holidays of today. Where we only have three holidays to celebrate today. And they're all, eh. Oh, man, holidays. So to kickstart this segment off, we got Skyscraper Day, where, of course, the question is, is how much taller can we go? I mean, seriously, I have seen some tall skyscrapers, but you just they keep going bigger because everyone wants to be number one. Next up, we got Bowling League Day, where... I, did you know that was actually part of a bowling team? It's true. Well, I'll hold down the fort while I get the trophy. Now, see, you thought I was kidding. But no, I was the 2004 Junior League Champion. And for all champions that won anything, we got a used bowling pin. Like one that is so damaged that they can't use anymore. So they were like, ah, here you go. We'll just use some permanent marker and write on it. I still, I still got it. I always wanted a bowling pin because I always found them to be really, really cool because they get beat around a bunch. And look at me now, Mom. Are you proud of me now? Please be proud of me. And then lastly, the third holiday, which I think is the stupidest holiday I've heard of yet. It's Welsh Rare Rare Bit Welsh Rare Bit Day. It's Welsh dish. That's rabbit. Essentially a glorified rabbit stew, I think. I don't know. It's Welsh. It's rabbit. It's something. And I don't want it. I'd rather pet the bunny than eat the bunny because they're cute. You don't eat cuteness. You think I would ever eat you? No. Just passing through. But now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the bad news of today. The bad news of today is actually kind of hysterical. It's uh, Madden 21. Madden 21 came out like over the past weekend on August 25th. Oh, wait, that's almost a week ago. <laughs> Damn. Um, but it's kind of making headlines now because of its ratings. So, the one thing that happens with sports games is occasionally they'll kind of get a graphics update. And, of course, you update the rosters. That's the main thing that happens with these things. But, in the form of this one, it was just strictly, basically, a roster update. And the players took notice. They had a bunch of similarity, like, screenshots of, like, the Super Bowls and stuff like that. They used, like, same camera angles, same animation, same everything. And the players are not happy. So if you go on to Metacritic and you look up Madden 21, you're going to see a whopping 0.3 as a user rating. That's right, a 0.3 out of a scale of 10. It's 
below a one. It's dang near zero. It's that bad. Of course, it's basically reached meme status. So, of course, people are going to kind of jump on the bandwagon and just give it more hate than it actually needs. But I think it's well justified at this point. With the amount of evidence that I saw with this game, it is pretty shameful. Kind of like taking a turd, polishing it up a bit, selling it off as a newer turd. It's still shit. And I'm hoping that the only reason they did this is they're putting more attention into the next generation consoles, which are coming right around the riverbend. So hopefully we'll see a whole new game here really, really soon. They'll redeem themselves to 22. But if they don't straighten up, I'm pretty sure people are going to stop buying Madden and look towards a new venue for trying to get their NFL fix. But in some good news of today, of course I made mention of it during the beginning, but David Blaine did something absolutely amazing, and I kinda wanna explain why it's amazing. David Blaine likes doing his breath holding stunts like out in public and stuff like that, so he went ahead and took to YouTube to live stream himself recreating the movie up, essentially. Except in this time, instead of being strapped to a house, the balloons were strapped to him. Basically, he was holding on to the balloons and was basically being levitated up into the sky to the same height as Mount Everest. Scratch that. Looking it up, he was about 4,500 feet short, but still, he made it up 24,900 feet, and that is amazing. And here is why this is amazing, is because he went ahead and got up to that height with the balloons, and then he parachuted down from there. But here's where I don't think people think about things. Like getting levitated to that height and then coming down, that's impressive. But it's the oxygen that I don't know if they put enough emphasis on. I didn't get to see the entire live stream if they kind of said that that's the danger in this. But if David Blaine did not have enough oxygen, his body didn't adjust correctly then he would not be able to pull the cord or anything. He would probably just fall to his death. And uh, it, that's, it's pretty impressive that he was able to control the oxygen with inside of his body to, to still have enough cognizance at that elevation. I'm pretty sure like it's no big deal. But to me, there's no, there's not much oxygen up there at that level. So I'm not a scientist, but it seems really impressive to me. So... He did it. It was really, really cool. He came back down, and there was like he was like way off course, so they had to have him kind of just figure out where to land. But it was cool. I highly recommend checking out the live stream. If I remember to put the link down there, I will try and put the link down there so you can watch it out for yourself. But with that out of the way, we need to go ahead and get into that dad joke of the day, where of course a dad joke is just a simple question. Did you know if you rearrange the letters of postmen, that they get really pissed off? <laughs> like, like it's a play on the thing of if you rearrange these letters, you get a different word. But if you're rearranging the letters of a postman, literally, oh, that would be terrible. And then if you didn't see, if you didn't see, pet photo of the day's back, baby. Pet photo of the day. Where we have Griffin, a very, very cute little black lab. Love him very, very much. I wish I could give him pets. And he's also a sleepy baby, too. And, like, there's just something cute about yawning animals, especially puppies. Like, if you've ever just watched, like, a yawning puppy compilation, you, you know them what happiness is. You know what happiness is. You can't help but smile at that. But alas, that takes us, of course, into the two cents moment of the day. Now is the part of the show where Kyle gives his two cents. Now, I've kind of done a two cents moment like this before. But I'm going to amplify it a little bit. Because when you go through life, you do make mistakes. If you do not make mistakes, then congratulations. You're not even human at all. If anything, you'd be a cyborg because you are perfect. But for the rest of us that are not cyborgs and we are perfectly human, we do make mistakes. That's just how we go through our day-to-day -day lives. So when we make mistakes, what do we do? Do we just give up on what we are doing? No, of course not. We go ahead and we fight through whatever we were doing. But why not go ahead and fight a little bit harder? If you fail, then why not use that fail energy to try and push yourself to a point that you didn't reach before? Taking something negative and turning it into a major positive is something that would be highly recommended, but isn't always easy to do. 
So next time you have a failure, push yourself and maybe get yourself further than you did with that failure. But truth be told, I was late to work today. Whoops. Um, still don't know how that one happened because like when I was driving to work, my alarm started going off in the car. And I really don't know how that happens. I mean, I have like five alarms in the morning. And three of them, the last three, went off when I was in the car. I don't know. I don't know how. Because I was thinking, well, maybe I snoozed them. But no. Because I was already on my phone and there was no snooze notifications. I don't know. It was weird. It was stupid. But at the end of the day, I ended up like pushing myself so hard. I was sweating bad. But I pushed myself so hard to try and get the job done further than I normally would have if I was just like having a normal day. So I tried to really, really push myself to um, really catch up and get the job done. And I successfully did that too. I was really happy with how I did today. That was freaking awesome. My stock, the stock room looks amazing. But alas, that is going to do it for this episode of the Fat and Happy Show, everybody. It's nice to be back, but hopefully... I'll be back for tomorrow's episode. I'm just kind of over here, just kind of going with the flow. If there's no news, there's no reason for me to make the episode. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to think of things that I can do on those off days to so that way I still have some content for you guys um, outside of just a fat and happy show. I've thought about maybe doing some more two cents, just like in-depth two cents like I wanted to do on Neuralink, and I still want to do on that. But I just really want to try and figure out what else I can do. This is awesome. The Fat and Happy Show I love a lot. And everyone really does seem to really enjoy the show. And I'm really happy about that. I like that I found something really cool. But I want to find more stuff. So if you have any opinions of stuff you'd want to see, maybe have me try out, then by all means, I will gladly do that. Um, I know that someone wanted me to do a tasting thing. Can't do that anymore now that I'm on keto, but if I get back off of that, I would gladly try and do that again. But that's going to do it for this episode of the Fat and Happy Show, everybody. Hopefully, I'll see you guys back tomorrow. Uh, good night.